G'day friends, welcome to another um, week of Create Weekly. It's Vicky Wright, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. So today I thought we would play with a, another sketch layout and create a card. So let's, oh here it is. So I thought we'd play with number 15. Now our layouts um, are in no particular order. Just bear with me. I think that should be better. A little bit straighter. I'll get this right one of these days. So I thought we'd play with number 15 and as I mentioned they are in no particular order. I just grab a layout um, what inspires me at the time. I keep all my layouts in um, a book so that I can refer back to them. And once I've done one, I then write um, beside them um, what I've used. And if I have a tutorial, I will put the tutorial number and also if there's a video, or YouTube video, I will put that number beside as well so that I, if I go back, I can refer back and then I know what I've used. So, okay, so we're going to be using this one. And I thought we would have a play with the Cheerful Daisies, which I haven't had a play with yet. So this will be um, our first with this bundle and of course we'll play with the dies too I think I'm not too sure yet but I we more than likely will okay so we'll grab our kit and we get it's very basic card of of sort of thinking but we could change our mind so I've already die cut a shape which I'm going to use for that little bit there but in saying that it might be a little bit too light so I've brought in a scrap and we'll see what happens um, just a couple of pieces of basic white is all we need and a piece of the pretty pretty soft lovely yummy lolly lemon lolly as our base so we'll work on this piece first I think and this piece so we're gonna bring in uh, I've got gorgeous grape we've got fresh freesia and we've got the yummy lemon lo lemon lolly okay so I will use um, oops don't stick them together like I just did we'll do our solid image first I always like to if it's a two-step stamp stamp I do my solid image first only because I find it easier for me. Everyone's different. You might like to do your outline first. But I like to do my solid image first. And then I just find it a lot easier to um, line up. So we're just going to tap, tap, tap this with um, Fresh Fresha. Oh, pretty beautiful image actually then we'll do our outline in gorgeous great so we'll just tap tap this now I'm taking this I'm saying this will line up so let's see oh yeah it does Oh, 
sideways. So we've done that. Then what we'll do, we'll do our centre and we'll stamp that in lemon lolly. Lemon lolly. Love side lemon lolly. And we'll just um, we'll just turn that on the side a little bit. And just go like that. And we're going to die cut that. But, whoops, a daisy. I'm going to try two things with this little leaf. We'll try it like that. And then we'll bring in... What do I do with that? Oh, here it is. We'll bring in... Um, the soft sea foam, which is what this cardstock is, and I've got the mini um, blending brush, and I'm thinking I might just um, add a little bit of soft sea foam over the cardstock, so we'll have tone on tone, and we'll see how we go. I still want to use this this colour. And I don't want it even, the colour. I just want it random. I might pick it up. I'm not worrying too much about the blobs on the cardstock as I... Um, Put the brush down because it's going to be cut out and I think it will add more interest. Now it might look like I'm pressing really hard because I hold my brushes by the head um, only because I just find for myself it gives me more control but it's up to you where it works the same if you're holding it back here or back here. I think that might be okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna try this actually. I may not even have to cut it out. I should have tried this in the first place, but I thought it might have. I might have torn it. Actually, I don't mind that. Actually, um, sponge dubber would work just as well too. I don't mind that actually. So that saves us die cutting that out. So we don't have to um, do that. Then we'll bring in our die. Yep, I was going to say, I take it there's a matching die. And we'll put that over there like that. So just bear with me. And I'm just going to go and die cut this. I don't do it on the same table. Only because my tables are a little bit wonky. So just bear with me while we die cut this. It's pretty. 
So we've done that bit. That away. Bring in our bring in our um I'm thinking it will do it like that, just like on um our layout. Just like that. Okay. But in the meantime, I think we might um, emboss this. So just, just bear with me and we'll emboss it. Actually, no we won't. What we might do is, I just grabbed uh, another blending brush and our um, artistic mix decorative dies and let's do blend a background eh it's nothing to say you can't do that so i'll put this down I'm not even going to stick it down actually. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm just going to make sure everything's nice and straight. Just like that. And we'll grab some. Let's grab some um, pool party ink. And let's do some pill party over the top. Oh, it's already a blue winnie house, so maybe I've used oops. Maybe I should stick it down, but we're gonna go for broke. Bear with me. I'm just going to randomly um, blend this colour over the back so that there's a little bit of a background and it will look like a bit of um, whoops, 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 whoops. A vine, I suppose. Oh, God, I've really mucked this up. Again, I'm only, I'm only, um, I'm not pressing real hard. I'm just softly blending, just to get that depth of colour, and I think that'll do. Okay, and then what I think we'll do. That's going to go there like that. That will go there. there. I like that with a little bit of colour over the top. It highlights it a little bit more. So we'll bring in our base card and then we can build it up. Stick this down. Whoops, that way. It's a pretty easy layout. And it's a good one too because it's something that you can um, um, make up your own 
backgrounds. You could have stamped over here or you could just leave it blank. It's up to you. And just because I've used basic white doesn't mean to say that you have to either. Then what we're going to do is try and find, oh here it is, I was going to say try and find our, our leaf. So I actually might I might stick this down first. Now if you could adhere this with mini glue dots if you wanted to or even the adhesive sheets, okay? Um, I just use the glue. So we'll put that down there like that. Okay, then I think we'll pop this up. Where's our scissors? I'll just pop this up. couple of dimensionals. I'm just using the ends of the um, the minis. Put that there like that. Press that down once you're happy with your placement. Bring in a little piece of a strip of basic white. Now I always save my strips when I cut our cardstock and my layers, um, my basic white layers. I always save them. They're always handy. I have a little basket and I just throw the bits in there. And I think we'll use that. You made my day. I just want a fine, thin one, just like the layout. So. And I think we will do that in, let's do it in gorgeous blue, bunny. So we'll just tap, tap, tap that. Tamp it onto scrap paper first so that I know it's straight. You could always use your stamparatus if you have one. I'm running out a little bit out of um, battery so hopefully we've got enough to finish this off we're just going to add um, a little bit of glue I'm not popping this up I don't want it too high and this goes across here like that and that's all I'm going to do too just like that making sure it's nice and straight and that looks pretty straight to me then we'll finish it off with some bling and I think we will use our glossy dots because I know there's a gorgeous, um, gorgeous grape in that oh, here, in that pack. And I just want the the foreground to pop a little bit more. So I like that lemon lolly. So we'll just grab some of these. We've got one there. Oops. One about 
there. And one there, I think. And that is our card for today. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I don't have a second one to show you because um, I've only just sort of done this as a spur of the moment. And um, to try and get it done today for you so that you can play during the week. Now, if you do recreate them, please um, share them. I'd love to see what you create from, from the layouts. So that's our layout there. And this is what we've created today. Okay. Now, there will be a link below um, to my blog. And I will have um, the measurements and list of supplies that... Um, I've used to create our card today. Um, there won't be a written tutorial because um, you can just refer back to the video. Okay, thanks for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy your week. See ya. Hooray.